Google unveils their most delicious software to date, our very first commercial spaceport finishes construction, and Girl Scout badges get a modern makeover. It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. Everybody. Welcome to Tech Life on Tech TV, your weekly source for digital lifestyle news. I'm your host, Ashley Esqueda, and joining me as always, Barb Dibwad. Hi, Barb. How are you doing? Good. It's, a, it's not so sunny out here in, in sunny Southern California. It is a little bit gloomy, but it is bright in the world of technology news. That's right. So let's get into it. Google and Android unveiled their most successful and different software update along with a brand new mega smartphone to go along with it. We're seeing Ice Cream Sandwich, which is their 4.0 update. Now, one of the biggest upfront features that you can see is a major visual overhaul making Android much more accessible to mainstream America. There's a new friendlier font they're calling Roboto. There's a lot of swipe gestures. There's also some really cool features like facial recognition unlocking. So you actually have your phone scan your face and it will unlock by recognizing you. And Android Beam where you're able to tap another device with ice cream sandwich. This was actually one of the coolest things that they showed off where they had two phones and they basically touched the two backs of them together and they could transfer contact information, websites, map positioning, and even applications. And they showed off all these features on their brand new flagship device, which is the Galaxy Nexus. And this is done with Samsung. It will be able to record video at 1080p. It's got a huge 4.65 inch screen. It's like having a little high def television in your hand. If you are curious as to whether or not you should get the iPhone 4S or the Galaxy Nexus, we have a great head to head for you on Tekka.com that we will have in the show notes. Now the Motorola Razr was one of the most iconic phones of yesteryear. Motorola is updating the brand with the Droid Razr which is a big and beautiful smartphone. They are claiming this is the world's thinnest smartphone. It's about seven millimeters, very, very thin. It's got a dual core processor on it. It will be on Verizon, but it's a little pricey. It'll be $299, which I agree is, is a little bit pricey. And on top of that, they're also touting uh, a dock where you have sort of a laptop with no guts. But that's also $300. But if you were a huge Razer fan back in the day, you're gonna have to let us know what you think of this new update in the comments. It's almost time for liftoff, everybody. Construction is now complete on Spaceport America, the world's first commercial spaceport. So the whole opening of the spaceport was done in grandiose affair. It was definitely a spectacle to behold. It does come at a good time considering NASA has wound down their own space program and have actually already contracted with Virgin. This is a very futuristic place. It looks it's, amazing. What they're gonna do is they're gonna have space tourist ventures. And it's located in New Mexico and going to be opening for business next year already, which means if you have the cash, you'll be able to go into suborbit. My birthday's in March. Will I have enough money by then? You're gonna need 200 grand to take a ride on this baby. I would like a raise. <laughs> <laughs> now we've seen a lot of luxury and egregiously priced items here at Tekka, but this one really takes the cake. The Element Palazzo is an RV of such opulence. It's more like the Waldorf Astoria with wheels. <laughs> Here's what you get. Master bedroom with adjoining bathroom, hmm. all leather interior, a rainfall shower, oh, that sounds delightful. fireplace, 40 inch TVs, multiple, pop out bar, skylight, heated floors, and an amazingly aerodynamic build that makes this thing look sort of like a spaceship. If you want this kind of luxury, well, it's not gonna come cheap. And Barb, uh, you know, you're gonna have to shell out for this one because it's gonna cost $3 million. For $3 million, you could go to space 15 times. So you can either choose space or you can choose glamping, which is glamour camping. The Girl Scouts as an organization have always been known for their cookie selling badges and all of the things that they do to help out in the community, but they're finally getting a modern makeover thanks to the Girl Scouts themselves. This is really cool. It's been 25 years since these badges have last gotten a refresh. We have new badges for things like computer expert, digital movie maker, and even locavore, which is very unusual and cool. Yeah. A spokeswoman for the Girl Scouts said that the girls themselves were involved in creating these new badges. And probably earned them the badge creator badge. <laughs> I will feel 
so awesome about supporting the Girl Scouts this coming year when they start doing cookie sales. I am going to buy double the number of Thin Mints that I usually do. Well done, Girl Scouts. Well, that's all the time we have left for Tech Life on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com during the week for all of your digital lifestyle needs. And on behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Esketha. I'm Barb Dibwad. We'll see you next week.